we are going to learn how to do some bug yoga. I've got Garner and Marcus here to help me. So the first pose we are going to do is butterfly pose. All right. Can you bring the soles of your feet together so that they're touching and your knees are out wide? That's it. Hang on to your feet and fly your butterfly wings. That's right. Up and down, up and down. And you can tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth by the direction that their wings stay when they're at rest. So if it's a moth, the wings are out really, really wide when it's at rest. That's right. And if it's a butterfly, the wings are way up high. Can you bring your knees up high? That's right. Now you're a butterfly resting. Good job. So a moth has wide wings. And a butterfly has upright wings. Very good. So now you can tell the difference when you're looking in the garden at moths and butterflies. Okay. The second pose that we're going to do is dead bug pose. Can you guys lay on your backs? That's right. Lay on your back. Perfect. Now bring your knees to your tummy and your feet to the ceiling. Reach your hands up to the ceiling. Good work. And crawl on the ceiling like you're a bug. Scurrying, scurrying, scurrying across the roof. Good job. And dead bug. Hold still. Scurry, 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 crawl. Crawl on the ceiling, that's it. Good job, guys. And dead bug. One more time. Climb, 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 crawl, crawl, crawl. Real fast, how fast can you go? That's it, Marcus, good work. And dead bug. All right, oh, you guys were perfect at dead bug pose. The third bug pose we're going to do today is spider pose. All right, let's get ready. Let's make a train with our bodies. A choo-choo train, that's right. We'll put Garner in front, Marcus in the middle, sitting crisscross applesauce, and myself at the end. All right, so now that we're in position, we're going to sing the song, Itsy Bitsy Spider. The person in the front does the hand actions. The people behind get to crawl up and down the back of the person in front of them, helping them to sit up nice and tall in what's also called easy pose. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. All right, fingers are ready. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. We're going to switch places and do one more version of that. Very nicely done. Crisscross applesauce. I'm going to scoop you back just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so we've got our choo-choo train again. This time, we're going to sing the Edmonton Spider. Up in Edmonton, winters are long and cold. And so this is a fun version to sing that is applicable for this geographic area. Okay, so you ready? All right. So, the words go. The Edmonton Spider went up the water spout. Down came the snow and froze the spider out. Out came the sun and it didn't do a thing. So the Edmonton spider stayed frozen until spring. Good work! Yay! I hope you've enjoyed bug yoga today. The next time that you're out walking and your kids are totally engrossed in the creepy crawlies across the sidewalk, Make sure that you come home and do some bug yoga and get them into their bodies, into their minds, into their spirits. For more ideas on teaching kids and teens yoga, please visit yogainmyschool.com. Namaste.